So imagine you're a sailor and it's the 1600s or the 1700s and you're trying to figure out where you are as you're traveling from one continent to another. Well, you don't have a smartphone, you don't have a GPS, you don't have Google Maps, you have nothing in terms of modern technology to help you. So how do you find your way? Well, we've already learned that to find your latitude, we use the star Polaris. And basically what we do is we measure how many degrees Polaris is above the horizon. However many degrees that is, that is our latitude. Determining the longitude is a little bit more complicated because it requires a couple of different steps. To find longitude, what ancient sailors did is they had to use the motions and the position of the sun. And what we mean by that is they had to figure out what time it was in two different places. First, they had to know what their local time was. So wherever the ship was, they had to know what time it was in that place. They also needed to know what time it was back in Greenwich, England, along the Prime Meridian. So the name of that time zone is called the Greenwich Mean Time Zone, or GMT. So here's how they did it. Let's say that on the ship, it was 6 p.m. And on the boat, there would have been a clock that had Greenwich Mean Time. Let's say in Greenwich, it's 2 p.m. So we have to do a couple of things here. The first thing we need to do is we need to figure out the time difference between Greenwich and the ship. So I can see from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a four hour difference. So that means that the ship is four time zones away from Greenwich. Well, we know that each time zone is 15 degrees apart. So if we're four time zones away, we're gonna do four times 15 degrees. And that tells us that the ship is 60 degrees away from Greenwich. Now the question is, are we 60 degrees to the east or are we 60 degrees to the west? Well, we know that because of how the earth rotates from west to east, when we travel to the east, we add an hour for every time zone that we cross. When we travel to the west, we subtract an hour. Well, in this example, the ship's time is 6 p.m., which is later than Greenwich. That tells us the ship has to be to the east of Greenwich, where the time would be later. So in this example, the ship would be 60 degrees east. That's the longitude. Let's look at another one. Okay, so now on the ship, it's 7 a.m., 7 in the morning. And in Greenwich, England, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, how many time zones apart are they? Well, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. is a three-hour difference. Again, each time zone is 15 degrees wide. So we know that we are 45 degrees away from the prime meridian. Are we 45 degrees to the east or are we 45 degrees to the west? Well, we know on the ship the time is earlier. So we have to be to the west because as we travel west, we subtract one hour for every time zone that we cross and it's earlier on the ship. So we are to the west, so 45 degrees west. Let's do a few more examples. All right, on the ship, it's 6 p.m., 6 o'clock in the evening. In Greenwich, England, it's noon. Well, I know right away that 6 p.m. is ahead of noon. So that tells me that we have to be, the ship has to be to the east, we're ahead. So the ship is somewhere over here. Well, how many degrees are we to the east? Well, from noon to 6 p.m. is a six hour difference. So we're six time zones apart. Every time zone is 15 degrees. So six times 15 is 90. And we've already determined that we are to the east because we're ahead. So the longitude of the ship is 90 degrees to the east. Let's try another one. All right, on the ship, it's eight o'clock in the morning. In Greenwich, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, are we earlier or later than Greenwich? Well, 8 a.m. is in the morning, so we are earlier. 
So we're going to have to be somewhere to the west. Because again, when you travel to the west, you're subtracting an hour for every time zone. So how many time zones apart are we? All right, well, let's think this through. From 8 a.m. to noon is going to be four hours. And from noon to 3 p.m. is going to be another three hours. So altogether, we're seven hours apart. So seven times 15 degrees, because each time zone is 15 degrees wide, is going to give us 105 degrees. And we've already determined that we're to the west because our time is earlier. So the longitude of the ship would be 105 degrees to the west. Let's try one more. All right. On your ship, it's 8 p.m., 8 o'clock in the evening. In Greenwich, it's only 3 p.m., 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So are we to the east? Are we ahead? Or are we to the west? Are we earlier? Well, we're ahead. We're ahead. It's 8 p.m. So how far ahead are we? Well, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. is a five-hour difference. So we're going to do 5 times 15 degrees, because every time zone is 15 degrees wide. And that's going to give us 75 degrees. And we're ahead, so we're to the east. I hope that this video has helped you understand how we determine the longitude of a place by using the local time and the Greenwich Mean Time.